Here we go. Wilson Morales, Black Women TV. How's it going? I'm great. Good to see you again. Yeah. You know, I got a friend who's turning 50 pretty soon. Uh, actually, this weekend, he's already stressing out about who's going to show up or not. You know, that's always a thing. It's one thing when you're inviting five or less you, people you can really count on. When you try to expand it and you try to do it somewhere else, that's a whole little drama. What went into doing this and how long did it take to you to plan it as far as where you wanted to go and who you wanted to bring? <laughs> Oh, God, it took a lot of planning. We probably a full year. Um, and then in the la in like the last couple months, it was crunch time to try to like accommodate all the people who were like, yeah, yeah I could do that. And I'm like, oh, oh, you know, you kind of, you know, you invite everybody. You don't. There's no way people couldn't make it to Cleveland. Right. So I wasn't really anticipating a lot, a lot of people um, being able to make it to one country in Africa, much less all four. But People, people made it happen. So I was sort of surprised. I was planning on a much smaller number and then it just kept growing. And we were like, okay, well, let's figure out how to make it a party. All right, <laughs> let's go. Now we're cooking with fish grease. Let's, let's get after it. But it, it did take a lot of planning. As the saying goes, go big or go home. And, you know, when you're planning this stuff out, you know, obviously when you're turning that corner, uh, what went into one, going to Africa, and exploring the different parts and going into somewhat sometimes the history mode that we see as far as exploring it so that we, the audience, get to not only see you enjoying your life, but also finding out where you're going, what it represents. Yeah, no, uh, Africa has always been, um, for me in my, the way I look at history, the birthplace of our collective superhero origin story. It is the birthplace of civilization. Australopithecus afarensis, Lucy, like that, the first of all things. So for me, after the year that I had had, like the last couple years that I'd had, um, had really brought me to my knees. And I knew that in order to, to truly have a different understanding of self and to move through some of these things that had been, you know, massive anchors around my, you know, ar around my body, for the last 30 years, I, I should probably return to the birthplace of civilization. And then it was like, well, how many countries can we hit? <laughs> um, and how much can, how much can I learn? And how much can I share? Um, figuring that part out was a little trickier, but, um, yeah, I knew, I knew I wanted to kick off the next 50, 60 years on the continent. And then it was a matter of mapping out what was even realistic, uh, what were what were pie in the sky dreams and what what could we actually pull off. Um, and then when I reached out to my guy, Jesse Collins and his team, I mean, if, if you can do the Super Bowl, I mean, I'm sure you, know, I mean, you can do like every- like Jesse, major, is, you, you're dropping you know. name, dropping Jesse, like, okay, he's everywhere. You know, I he's mean, getting, every year he's getting, how high can Jesse go? You know, next thing you know, he, the next thing I'm going to hear about him is he's putting together a team going to the moon. <laughs> I mean, he the next election, he can literally do it all. And he's he's just been a great friend of mine for years. We have very similar senses of humor. Um, so I thought he he would be perfect, you know, because he gets me. He gets he gets what annoys me. He gets what like I love to see um, and what is entertaining to me. Uh but yeah, once was, we got Jesse on board, it we were off to the races and and just had to literally put all the pieces together. And then, you know, certain things would pop up, you know, challenges, last minute things that we were not anticipating. You have to pivot. Um, but luckily, you know, I'm on social media all the time. And so I'm following different people's journeys throughout Africa as they travel to different countries. So I was like, oh, OK, Lewis Hamilton went to the Red Dunes in Namibia. I'm gonna go to the Red Dunes in Namibia. I'm like, well, Lewis, how did that how did that work? I mean, how many how many dudes did you guys take? Like, OK, how did you figure that? OK, OK. So it was just like trying to call in favors and, and ask folks how they did it and how they got around, because I wanted to really hit different parts of the continent. And I think we we did pretty solid for, you know, a little over two weeks. With everybody on board, you know, I actually, how do I try to phrase this question? Um, you know, 
it's one thing when we're, we're capturing you, you know, and there's uncertain, there's, there's a part of the audience that's obviously just knows you as an actress. There's people that follow you on social media. So there's different angles of people that are. Now we get to see best of both. You know, we're seeing the actress, you know, exploring, going her 50 and bringing in her family for people who don't follow you in that respect. You know, were they on board knowing they're going to be on camera and people are going to get a little slice of who they are? Um, yes, yes, by and large, yes, for the most part. Um, a lot of my friends are already in entertainment, so they're not they're they're more familiar with it. So it wasn't like a big ass to ask Angie Martinez to like, you know, put on a microphone or Essence Atkins, like not a big deal. A dare Curtis. Um, my husband was like, again again again? And I'm like, <laughs> it's okay. It's 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 the whole trip, baby. It's not it's it's the whole it's the whole trip. Um, but uh, yeah, because you know, like we we are constantly talking smack, like just cracking jokes, and you know, not everything is for everybody. And be, being very mindful or trying to be more mindful, um, you know, that people are gonna see this beyond you know our group chat, and you know, making sure that some of our language was more appropriate for, see how my voice cracked, more appropriate for the masses. You've got a number of projects coming up. I'm sure we're going to be talking again soon because you got yeah. the perfect fine coming out. But we're yeah. here, we're talking about the series. What's the thing? What's your takeaway, obviously, from exploring these cities and leaving Africa? And I'm sure you're going to go back again before this time period as you celebrated your 50th. What was your biggest takeaway? That I want to just keep returning. That in order, again, the more I know about self, and when I say self, I mean the whole continent, the more countries I can learn about, the more I can immerse myself in the knowledge of different cultures, languages, peoples, uh, migra- you know, just historical migration patterns. Like I, I wanna know all of it. Uh, and I have the next 50, 60 years to, to do that. And I hope more people come along on that journey because the more you understand, um, about the continent, the more you understand about yourself. Uh, so I hope that people take that away and that there are people, um, you know, who miss us. And I'm talking about the collective we, um, the we that was dispersed, you know, during the middle, during the middle passage and during the slave trade, the diaspora, um, though there are, there were, there were whole countries, communities of people whose lives were devastated. The brutalization didn't leave on the ships. It stayed on the shores. And to never to never miss that part, to miss to miss that key part. Um, and, it, and it does feel like a home in a, in a different way than you could ever imagine. And I hope more of us return home. Before I let you go, one, uh, it's a two part question, but that's totally different, but I'm running out of time. Uh, so would you consider doing a project documentary film on Africa and where? And are you and Dwayne going to Miami to watch the games? <laughs> <laughs> uh, last first. Uh, he is actively seeking uh, tickets uh, for, for those games in Miami. Actively. Actively. <laughs> actively. Well, he's, you know, he's part of um, Utah Legacy. Jazz. Uh, well, he's, you know, he's part of Utah, Utah Jazz. So, I, you know, um, hopefully somebody in Miami will will. We'll we'll take pity on our family and and offer us some tickets. So he's working on that. Um, I mean the Jimmy Butler, you know, superhero origin story continues. Uh, so we're very excited about that. Um, and we just we already were, we just went back. Um, we were in in uh, in Egypt in May. So I like I'm you can't keep me away. I'm just gonna keep keep going. I'm just gonna keep coming back. And we shot a little something over there. So you know, um, yeah. There'll be more, many more projects. We have uh, a few projects with um, uh, South African filmmakers and um, creators, uh, some other projects with Ghanaian uh, creators. So we are open for business. I'll have another is a global operation. So we are open for business across, you know, uh, across the world. But yes, yes, we have our fir- our feet firmly firmly planted. But I do think um, I like I like documentaries told by the people who have an innate understanding. So mm-hmm. I would love to be part of a, a production that that empowers uh, African people to tell their own stories. Um, and if we can help with, you know, different forms of distribution, absolutely. But, uh, you know, you never want to be 
an interloper be like, well, let me tell you about it. I'm like, I'm giving you one perspective, but hopefully that that opens the door for for more of us to dis- to discover more um, more talent on the ground. And to also, you know, just in general, a lot of us, we speak of Africa as a country instead of a continent um, because we have been separated. We've been separated from our knowledge of self and our knowledge of of all the beautiful uh, countries that make up uh, that glorious continent. So just learning, just every little bit helps. Um, and then the more you learn, pass it on. That's all. That is that is my whole goal of this whole operation. People like to say, you know, they're going to be living vicariously through you because of the places that you went to and they're going to find it goes, I want to do that. They don't realize it. it ain't that easy. If they don't got Jesse on their team, it ain't that easy. <laughs> well, to document it, it's, it's probably not that easy. But to go, I used a lot of points and miles. Listen, um, I know a lot hey, of people have a lot to say to about that. How I handle my finances. <laughs> but listen, let me tell you how I get it done every year. Um, yeah, no, points, points, uh, and miles. I use mine, my husband's, everybody. Hey, that's hey, that's that where easy. he contributes hundred percent uh in points and miles. Um that's all we want to hear. We want to make you feel real as opposed to like somebody else is paying for it. Congrats on the series. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm sure we'll talk again very soon because you got projects, you're always staying working. So we'll talk later. (laughs) No, thank you.